I am Larry from Singapore, participating in the virtual RCAP 2020 Grand Prix U19 category. I participated in the IQ Challenge this year in the same category and obtained first place in Best Presentation Award. To complete the challenge task, I investigated different features of the map that contribute significantly to the results. The features fall into two main categories path planning, and the line tracking techniques. Through the evaluation of solutions based on implementation and consideration of important factors on the maps, the preferred solution is selected. In the investigation of line tracking, oscillations of the robot are better resolved through conditions-based control due to the limited number of scenarios. In the study of path planning, I came up with a structure by combining categorization of roads and the dextrous algorithm, as the map is complex. Now we come to the AI algorithms and the resources. In line tracking, the robot continuously changes the wheel speeds depending on the input values from the IR sensors to ensure that it's on the line. However, each attempt to reach the desired positions tend to overshoot, resulting in oscillation of the vehicle along the line that causes instability. Proportional Integral Derivative Control, or PID control, is a control mechanism that employs sensor inputs to continuously calculate the outputs, so that a desired set point is reached. PID control first computes the error, which is the distance between the car's current position and the desired position in this case. This error value is then evaluated to find three terms. The proportional term allows the robot to follow the line. The integral term accelerates the process of returning to the line and eliminates the residual steady state error. The derivative term damps the oscillation. Another method tested is conditions-based control. This method works by comparing the inputs from the IR sensors with the conditions required for certain wheel speeds. When the conditions are fulfilled, the corresponding action which is a change in wheel speed, is executed. To improve the responsiveness of conditions-based control, the number of scenarios considered should cover as many possibilities as possible. When testing the methods, I find out that PID is more precise as it has a greater range of output values. Meanwhile, conditions-based control is more stable when running as it has less variety of speed changes. With these considerations, Conditions-based control is chosen as there are only a few input states due to only six sensors. Thus, the precision of PID control is not required, and conditions-based control can already cover all possible scenarios. When implementing conditions-based control, I prepared three different sets of tuned base speeds, which leverage the power of path planning to reduce the effect of random errors on the robot. An additional point to note is the turning speed, which has to be both fast and smooth to better the efficiency and reliability of the run. The turning situations vary in angles and sharpness, as this will affect the radius and the speed of the turn. The best combination of left and right wheel speed is often found through rigorous testing. Different junctions may require modifications. The second mini-task I looked at is path planning. A well-planned path results in shorter run time due to smaller numbers of turns and shorter path taken. This problem is first simplified with node graphs created from maps. The nodes represent the important landmarks on the maps, including orange pit stations, color markers, and starting and finishing point. The lines represent the roads. Three algorithms are assessed. Dijkstra's algorithm evaluates the nodes and lines in the node graph from the starting point of the vehicle. The greedy best first search algorithm works in a similar way to Dijkstra's algorithm, but selects the node closest to the finishing line. A star search algorithm picks nodes based on the sum of the movement cost to move from the starting point to a given node and the estimated movement cost to move from that given node on the graph to the finishing point. A star search algorithm is chosen as it takes into consideration the long-term consequences of short-term choices. 
the A star search algorithm will work well on complex maps. In reality, path planning is done manually. Every step is selected based on an overall evaluation of how far the next knot is from both the starting point and the finishing point. A few segments have little alternative paths and its best route will be included in every planning. Some paths are executed due to the lack of color markers and obvious further distance. Speed variation utilizes straight roads while ensuring stability on sinuous roads. This is done through careful categorization of the features on the roads. By having different speeds for different sections, the robot can run faster when the situation permits and remain consistent in complicated segments. Last but not least, conclusion. Debugging is an unavoidable and painful part of programming. To alleviate my pain, I came up with a debugging cycle. Observe the run, compare the expected and the actual outcomes, identify the type of errors, analyze the source of errors, make relevant changes, and the cycle repeats to detect and eliminate more bugs. There are three main types of errors in my program. The first one is using unsuitable values. The example here is my car overrunning the pit station, as the orange on the map is not in the color ranges I indicated. I resolved this issue by recording the sensor values and making necessary adjustments. The second one is errors that accumulate over time. The vehicle here did not detect the yellow marker due to aggressive oscillation. The solution is finding out the source of errors and reducing them. The third one is systematic errors. In this case, the robot always tilted right, so I hard-coded a slight tilt to the left to counteract it. The algorithms chosen can be further improved. For line tracking, this will be done through the development of a systematic way of finding the wheel speeds for the car, especially a formula to calculate the proportion of base speed to be used in each scenario. For the application of path planning, image processing in OpenCV can be integrated to generate maps that allow algorithm to analyze and find optimal path. A system of categorizing different road conditions and determining the optimal speed for each case can also be developed. CodeSpace provides me the chance to evaluate the relationships between the robot and its environment and study various methods to utilize functions of the sensors. In sharing with other participants, I would like to focus on the process of finding and solving the problems, such as observing the challenge map and identifying the types of obstacles instead of the solutions themselves.